Hey, what is going on guys? It's Lachlan here, back with yet again another episode of the Pixelmon Gotta Catch Them All series. I know said 2.0 because of like crazy craft and stuff, but uh, back again, Gotta Catch Them All. Now, last episode, we got a couple of Pokemon off the list. I'm actually going to have to check because I already forgot. They weren't too important. We obviously had the Nido King and Nido Queen. They were the special highlight of the episode. We got uh, Tatuga up to a Caracosta. Drowsy because we somehow haven't caught him. Persian, and I think there was another one in here. Oh, of course, Paris. You can't forget him. And this little Eevee as well. So that was quite a good episode. We got quite a lot off the Pokedex and uh, hopefully going to continue it today. So having a look at what we've got here, I want to try and go for something today. Uh, that is a Groudon. I want to try and see if we can at least try to get one to spawn. If I could catch one, that would be a bonus. But uh, if I keep applying to the rule of legendaries require Master Balls, I'm going to need five of those bad boys. Three birds and the two uh, other pieces. Um, now, someone also told me, I just remembered that I threw my Orb of Fiery Souls down that uh, cactus last episode. Because I was checking through the comments to, ask, uh, like, to see for tips and stuff. And uh, threw it off the edge. So, I won't actually need to make one. I'll just, I don't need to spawn one. Sorry, I'll just make another one. Uh, legitimate accident. But now we have another Orb of Fiery for Fiery Souls, an Orb of Fiery Souls, and we're going to have to start from scratch on that one again, so that's going to be fun. Now, it's getting to the point where we are not, we don't need to be so obsessive on catching uh, Pokemon, uh, or at least having a lot of Pokeballs, because we've caught a lot of what we need. It's more about evolving, uh, leveling up, and training up our team that can't be found normally. So, like, obviously I'm going to start with Kranidos right here. Um, and I'm going to grab that shiny Geodude that we had from a lot of episodes ago. Uh, where is he? He has not come out of that PC since I got him. We're going to try and level him up a little bit today. Get him to his max level. And, uh, yeah, all that jazz. So, we're going to go uh, into bed. Wake up, hit the desert, and try that trick on Groudon. See if we can get a Groudon. Now, I like it because we've gone for Kyogre last week. Now, we're going to go for Groudon this week. And it sort of, sort of like ties into like the new trailers for the uh, Omega, Sapphire, and Ruby. Now, um, I have said this several times in streams, Twitter, all that jazz. I will be doing a series on Omega, Ruby, and... I forgot what the other one was called. Is it Primal Sapphire? No, that's what the special ones are called. I don't know what it was called. Omega Ruby and something Sapphire. Um, Lush? I don't know. So we're going to try the trick. So if you guys don't know what the trick is, it's go up really high, fall down, preferably not in that, and it will try. It will spawn one in. Um, you got like a nice little bunch of fresh spawns, and then you go back up and you come back down. I don't know if it's dusk or if it's just normal. No, 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 it's not. It's at, during like sun. Uh, when you do it, it's good. So we're just going to try this trick, see if we can force a Groudon spawn out of it. As you can see here, we'll get new spawns as we go up and down anyway. So we should keep our eyes out. There's Diglets. Oh, what the hell? I thought that was like a new Pokemon. Sandshrew in that thing. So just make sure to keep an eye out for bosses as well. It's a nice way of just forcing a lot of spawns and just trying to get what we want. Um, phone just went off. I do apologize. So you go back up and you come back down. This is a trick. It's been in the game for a while now. Like lots of people have made guides on it and stuff. Uh, it's definitely... Uh, somewhat well known to just like, get a lot of Pokemon spawning real fast. Um, there's a fly going over there. So, yep, magma. Obviously, the, the thing about the legendary that keeps it a little easy for us is that it pops up in the chat when we found one. Now, I'm not sure if I have to wait till exact midday, um, but uh, we might have to just because we, we just got up in the morning. So, it might not. Oh, and look at that. Like, it's a nice way to just get some Pokemon to spawn, try to get some bosses. So, nice way to start this episode off. With a cheeky boss. Um, so he's going to get levels up on uh, Kranidos anyway. So win-win situation. And who knows? Might pull a sneaky Master Ball. Holy crap. He just hit us with a fissure. Holy. What? He hit us with a fissure? Are you serious right now? Wait. 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 To ruin all of my motivation in one fell swoop. Fissure one bang. He had 20 levels on me, so that increases his accuracy by like a little bit. But we're going to lose a red boss to this. I don't freaking believe it. He's not even using Fissure again. We just lost a boss, ladies and gentlemen. We just lost a boss. That makes me salty. Very, very salty. Oh boy. I am salty. Do I have any max revives on me? Battle items... Status, Pokeballs, no, nah, we got nothing. We got nothing. 
Red boss. Pff, gone. That is such trash. Maybe it was because we picked on the Diglett. <laughs> Maybe it was because we picked on the Diglett. The Diglett. This guy's a Diglett at the front. You're a Jag. You're all Jags. Just some... <sighs> Way to kill my morale in just one fell swoop. Fizzle just coming in like a wrecking ball. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, from now on, we're keeping a good team on us. Not as peasant. Why the hell do we even have a Blastoise on our team? Get out of here. You're a peasant. Get out. You're kicked off the team. None of this. Sizzle, we do need him. Mewtwo, you need to up your freaking game, man. You should have... Uh, Fisher shouldn't have one-banged us. Really shouldn't have. Kranidos, we need to keep. Pidgeot, we need to fly. All right. Maybe we should... Okay, I'm going to grab Rayquaza out from that. He's our next strongest one who can back us up in a fight if we need it. So let's just take it, heal up, and go back out and try again. Jesus, man. I just can't believe that. Red boss. Fissure. Because with each level you gain, I think, 1% more. It's like a flat 20 or 30. So it was like a 50% chance that Fissure was going to hit, and it hit. Like, bit salty about that. Will not lie. Salt levels... Because that could have been a Master Ball that we needed. Could have been it. There's a Grottle. Would have maybe looked for a Turtwig, but no. It's just... Un unneeded salt is what it is. It's just... It doesn't need to be happening. The salt doesn't need to be there. Um, so, I guess the thing that I am excited for, if we do get a Groudon in the desert, is because uh, we can easily... Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, you're kidding me. Ah... Uh, so much face palm in one episode. Um, so you guys don't know, uh, the crazy craft I recorded today, I accidentally, uh, accidentally messed up the recording, and I, no, I muted my mic. I muted my mic mid-recording and lost the footage. Um, so like, just haven't been having the greatest of days, although I recorded something epic for you guys tomorrow that's gonna come out, so, um, be looking forward to that. You don't even know what it is, but it is Pixamon. So, uh, anyway, uh, let's get, let's try to do this right this time. Get up. Let's find another boss as well. Like, none of this, like, you know, letting bosses slide. Nah, we don't like that. We don't like that over here. So, I'm not sure what height I need to go to. Oh, until the entities are zero, I believe it what it was. Like, in F3. Uh, which one does it say entities? Uh, let me just check the bosses before I go back up. Um, okay. Yeah, so there's something that's meant to have the entity somewhere on the on the F3. Um, there's something in here. Cash E. No. We're definitely higher than we need to be. Okay, I can't find it where it loads in entities on there. I'm trying to look. Is that it? No. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even look at... <laughs> I wasn't even looking where I was landing. I'd actually be really salty if uh, it did that and it spawned a Groudon. Although I'm pretty sure it wouldn't do that because if we did get a Groudon, it would just... Because they, they last for a while, Legendaries, because they spawn in like a... I think it's an eight chunk spread you've got for the Legendaries um, when they spawn in. So like you've got some time to find it. And this is a very small desert, so if it does spawn, uh, it'll be easy to find, but it's harder to spawn. So, it'd be easy to find, but harder to force a spawn, is what I'm trying to say. So, I'm not going to die this time. Let's see what spawns we get out and about. So, it's going to put all of them right next to it, which is exactly what we want. Because when you're flying into it, you're losing ones and gaining ones. This is just straight up gains. Straight up gains. I'm going to fly over to this one. I'm trying to find a central place in the desert. No, nah, we're probably out of central place. All right, let's go up. Let's go up. I hope I'm right over this place. And down. Yeah, we're good. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we're good. Oh, just... Um, looking about. That's a really tiny flag. I'm only gonna do this for like five minutes. Uh, I thought I saw a boss. What the hell, Pidgeot? What are you doing? Um, Magmars, nothing. Just keep an eye on the chat as well. I wasn't checking the chat at all. Because that could have been sad. Wouldn't want to miss it that. So I'll go up high again and down. If there is something I'm meant to be looking for, guys, let me know so I don't waste anybody's time here. Um, like, by, by that I mean like on like the, the entity counter or something, if that is a thing. There is such thing as an entity counter. So every time we come and drop, there's about 30 or so Pokemon around us. We have like a 1 in 3 or 4,000 or 8,000 chance. I'm not too sure. That's shiny 8,000. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Imagine if the Vibrava, if they landed on Vibrava and died. That would be really sucky. Um, oh, wait. You're not meant to fly all the way down. I think you're meant to just go up and down until it spawns. So yeah, go there and then try and get some new spawns. Like, I'm not meant to fly down. You're meant to go up and down. So up. Look until you see Pokemon. See Pokemon. 
No bosses. Go back up. Pokemon disappear. Go back down. That this is the best way to do it, I'm pretty sure. Keep going up and down, up and down, up and down. Pokemon spawn in. Check Pokemon. Okay, look, there's a magma on that hill. Okay, this is just to clarify this works. Magma on that hill. Magma's gone. Go back down. And Magma should not be on that hill. Magma's on the hill. Okay, we gotta wreck it up a little bit. Go it up a little bit. We're wasting everybody's time right now. <laughs> oh, Magma's now on that hill. Okay, let's go up, let's go up. They probably despawn about now. Let's go down as soon as the fog comes back in. Mag down we go. Uh, it takes a while because Pidgeot's a little bit of a jag. Maybe I should just fall straight to the ground. Probably quicker. Magma's no longer on that hill though is what I want to check. There's a ma that's, that's definitely a different, ma a different Magma. There's no way. It's like, get out. All right, back up we go. I don't want to try this for too long because I don't want this to be an, a boring episode of me just flying up and down. But uh, I do want to try and see me a ground on because I haven't seen a ground on. I haven't seen a ground on, like I've seen it a couple times in the service, but I haven't seen one. So I like to try and buy myself a ground on. I, it only took us like two attempts to get a, a Kyogre, so I assume it's not too much harder than that. But hey, it's very quick up and down. We'll do it five more times. You ready? This is attempt number five. Should we go a little bit left? Okay, that's attempt number five. Back up we go. This is attempt number four. Sorry, attempt number one of five. And this is attempt number two of five. Up we go, back down. And Groudon, give it to me. Nope. And the key thing you gotta remember, if you are doing this, Groudon is during the day. However, there's Sigilyph spawning, which means we're about to lose our time of day, which means I think we may have lost the one time zone for the Groudon. So we should probably stop wasting our time. Yeah, we've lost the time zone, I believe. We'll do one more. But I think this is this time zone right now is considered dusk, which is why we have Sigilus spawning, because they spawn during the night and dusk times. So unless we're out in an ocean right now, we're wasting our time. So I'm just gonna do that last one, that's it. I'm not gonna go to five if this doesn't spawn it. For some weird reason that it does spawn it, then we're not going for it again. Didn't know Marowax spawned openly out here. I think I actually need one of these, so I'm gonna catch one. I didn't think they were possible to get on their own. Hey, I don't want to level up a Cubone, so let's just try and catch a Marowak, you know what I mean? Nice, cheeky Pokemon. Didn't think they spawned. Uh, I knew they used to spawn in Extreme Hills. Didn't think they still did, so heck, might as well just take it. So let's go, and Great Ball. Nice little cheeky whack of the Marrows. Getting it off with at least one Pokemon. Hopefully get that Geodude and the Cranidos as well. That'll be three Pokemon this episode. Nice, cheeky way. At least it's a 151 as well. Don't want to argue too much with the Marowak. Easy catch. Easy peasy. Um, but I am still salty about that Dugtrio. There's something about Diglets and Dugtrios, man. They really just been messing me with, like, messing with me in the desert. You know, like, they had that one outside the cave, came back. Oh, that's a blue boss over there. He did self-destruct. Look at my keen eye. See, I've developed this thing called a keen eye where I can spot things out from a distance that normal people can't. Look at that. Like, get with the program. You know what I mean? Let's put Expatia on a this guy and see how much we get out of it. So give me a Master Ball Plox. I said Plox, so please give it to me. Okay, and Alt Magnitude, sure thing. You'll probably level up. Oh, sorry, Evolve. Oh, look at all these levels he's getting. It's so cute. Oh, Jubis Disc! Porygon Z, everybody, coming in the house. Yeah, boy, that's a good loot. Will, I will take that. So if those of you guys who don't know, we currently have a Porygon 2. We did the trade up uh, Evolve with the upgrade. And now we will have a Porygon Z once I get that going. That's pretty cool. I, I like that. I maybe would have preferred still the, uh, still probably would have preferred to get the uh, the other loot. But hey, not going not gonna to complain at all. Um, so let's just absolutely smash uh, this one out. Don't want to send with that. I, I, I think I might just keep the XP share on and just keep the 50% going that way. So I'll just go up to people, kill them with Mewtwo, and then uh, just get that. And I mean, it's going in the Orb of Fiery Souls anyway, like we're getting progress on the Moltres as well, even though we got set back so many times, that uh, it's all good. So yeah, I'll just keep moving around, eat mistakes when I need to. This isn't the best biome for us to do training on as well, because there are lots of rock types, but hey, it's all good. Um, Grabblers are good XP when they don't kill themselves, um, when they don't. I'm not sure when we get this, I think an early, tw uh, late 20, 25 I'm pretty sure. I want to say 25, I've seen level 25 Gravelers. So I'm going to assume at level 25 we'll have a Graveler that is of the shiny, shiny types. 
I'd like, oh no, shiny diglets are horrible. I almost thought I said I'd like a shiny diglet. They are horrible. I've had one before. It's a blue nose. Literally changes nothing. So 26, it's at least 26. I definitely think I haven't seen a 24, but I've seen a 25. So we just need to get this up a couple levels and we'll be good to go. Can't send with this because Psychic will not do anything to a Crocorock. Makes me a little sad. And these guys don't even have much HP to begin with. Uh, sorry, XP to begin with. They give Peasant XP. Look at that. No, oh, this one's 36 though, so he might be decent. Let's see. Give me at least a grand. Yeah, I gave a grand of Geodude. We'll take that. Uh, what about this one? I didn't check what level you were. Rayquaza is just such a big Pokemon. Ah, oh, 29. That probably won't do too much. What are we up to? 24. One more level and we'll have what we want. Yeah, boy. I'm looking forward to this. So let's go. 34. That should do it. And this is it. Are they lying? Not 25. I knew it. There we go. Getting ourselves our brand new shiny, which is the shiny gravel. Look at that gold, gold geodude about to turn into a pooey graveler. That's what it looks like. The gravel looks like poo. He does. He really does. Ready? You're about to see it. Um, we probably need to go home because look, it looks like poo now. Literally looks like a piece of poo. Oh wait, no, that's that. Graveler. Look, looks like a dump in in the desert. Like, is that nice brownie color? Like, he, he's alright though. I love me some graveler. So we obviously uh, won't be seeing the next stage of him until we evolve him, which is a trade Evo. So we'll have to wait a bit on that one. But let's go back home, uh, live it up in the bed, and. I'd say so far we're doing pretty well. Dubious Disc, Graveler Evolve, gonna get Kratos up right now. Um, he's a 35, I believe, so we'll put this bad boy away, although I will take this off you and put it back on him. And yeah, I think that's definitely the method we'll go with, is just get Mewtwo to like smash some high levels out and uh, get the XP share levels, because I think it's just easier, quicker, everybody's a winner. Um, so let's go into our little Extreme Hills place. Oh my god, there's a sheep. There's that Shep from yesterday. They're in there. They're Mareeps in this one, so forgot about that. Uh, anyway, time to crunch some Onyxes. Only level 12? What? I'll Swift you. I don't want to waste Psychic. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. Um, so let's see. As long as it's on Mewtwo, ready to go. There's a Boldor. I don't think I've caught one of these. Well, I think I have, just from the pure amount that I've seen. Psychic and done. Level for me, level for you. I want to, like, crush some Rhydons. Actually, I do want to catch a Rhydon as well. We don't have one. Did I not catch that Machamp? Machop? No, I caught the Machop. I caught the Machop. Yeah, that's right. I wasn't having any of that. Like, apparently I hadn't caught Machop. Wasn't taking that. Like, Machop's like one of the easiest ones to get. He's coming on the list. Like, I'm just not dealing with it. All right, let's see if we can get that Lair on. There we go. Psychic. Okay. Too easy. Level 40. Smashed out. That's the thing I like about Mewtwo. Pure powerhouse. Easy to train. Would be better if we had a lucky egg, though. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying, Lucky Egg, please. Uh, actually, Lucky Egg, when I think about it, XP share is probably quicker because I can munch them out, plus get that bonus of having uh, it fill up the orb, which is also a good thing. Um, can we get some spawns in this house, man? Like, come on. Also, I should probably go back to the desert because it's daytime. We could probably, you know, get a sneaky ground on. I don't know, maybe, hopefully. It'd be great. I, I mean, I don't want to set out on an adventure for ground on and see zero ground ons. That would be very depressing. Very, very depressing. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to get any Pokemon here. It's like, I honestly feel like we're about to crash. You know what I mean? Because there's just no Pokemon. Okay, come on. Some magic cards better start spawning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's Primeape. Let's take on Primeape. Is that a cow? That's a cow. That's a cow. Uh, <laughs> that's sick. Oh, what? You're a cheeky one. Primeape, you are a cheeky one. Let's go Night Slash. I think they're both ineffective. And should have just used x twice, but no. I'm a dum-dum. All right. Credit. Oh, whoa. Level 30 only? Sweet. Too easy. Too easy on the Kratidos. Getting that one evolved already. There's both of our fossils done and dusted. Don't need to deal with that. I actually won't ever have to deal with Aerodactyl. Just need to get it, which is going to be difficult and fun. But Mewtwo just run around the joint like he runs it. And guess what? You do run it. So you can run however you want. Uh, Endeavor doesn't really matter. Not going to use you. Okie doke. Uh, let's go back to home. Keep killing myself to get back home. I love it. It's the best thing ever. Mewtwo, you're back. All right, get back in your Pokeball. Mewtwo, okay, yep. And then take that XP share off you because you're not going to need that anymore. All right, put him away. Now, what else do we want to evolve by leveling up that needs to be done? So let's look at the 151 and see what we need to happen here. So, uh, Hitmonchan is a sneaky one we need to find. Rhyhorn, Rhydon. Uh... 
I think I got the Lapras. Oh, I need to get a Flareon. So you know what I'm going to do right now? Oh, don't tell me I'm out of Firestones or I will knock someone out. Don't even do this to me. This won't be funny. This won't be fun. Thank you for not doing that to me. Let's get a cheeky Flareon right now. Might as well. Fill up that 151 desk. Dex? So we got this Eevee last episode. Could have had more, but they wanted to be the biggest Jags ever to exist. I hope this isn't the Eevee with happiness or I just fudged up. Because that's meant to be for Umbreon. Alright, let's see. Look at him running around getting really tall ears. What do you think you're doing? Oh, the true prophet is back once again. Uh, if he has happiness or high happiness rating. No, he doesn't because he's got no HP. Yeah, no. Nah. That's that easy done. And you know what? We might take out Umbreon as well. Sorry, the other Eevee we have in here. But I know we have another Eevee that has happiness in here somewhere. Unless I've already evolved him. Uh, let me see. No Eevees. No Eevees. No Eevees. Oh, there he is. I was getting scared then for a second. So this guy has 200 happiness because we caught him with a friend ball, I believe. Yep. So we're just going to get him an easy couple levels and, you know, get him up to an Umbreon. Oh, make sure I do that at night though, because then that could go bad and we'd get two Aspions and then we'd be wasting everybody's time. We do all that a lot in this series. Waste a lot. I put a bed down in there. No, I did not. Get the hell out. What do you think this bed is doing down here? Get out. That's not happening. All right. So it's still daytime, so cheeky crowd on maybe? I don't know, you tell me. Would, if not, we'll go back over to the extreme hills, try to jag a Hitmon Chan spawn, because that's one of those guys that we need to get eventually. So let's try this for like five more attempts, because we've got the right time of day, might as well. Can't hurt. Um, maybe get, oh my god, that is a pack and a half of normals. Holy crap. That is a pack and a half with a blue boss running the herd. All right, buddy, come here. And, oh, baby, don't do that. That could go bad. Um, <laughs> that could have been really bad. We nearly just got another Espeon. I would have cried. Come here. I know you're the leader of the pack, but come here. I just like saying pack of numbers. It sounds really good. All right. Give me some, like, trade Evo, like Magmarizer or Master Ball. Another orb. Jesus Christ, I've got an orb collection of just orbs. Like, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Orb collection of orbs, and I'm not digging them, like, at all. So let's go back up, try to get, this. that's a second boss we've had in this place. Uh, first pack of normals, though. First pack of normals. Haven't had many pack of normals this season. Uh, anything of packs? Uh, I like going closer to this shore, because they seem to spawn on this shore anyway. Diglett, Sub Trio, there's nothing about that. Back up we go. It's like a lucky dip. You never know which one you're going to get. Sorry, that's like chocolates. <gasps> I see him. Oh, don't kill myself. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Is that a red boss? Oh my god. We got him. I saw him as I came down and I was like, oh my god. If I hit the ground and killed myself, would have cried. Okay. We have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a Groudon. Now let's not mess this up. Okay. 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 He's very, very strong. So I'm not going to lead with a false swipe. I'm going to lead with a psychic. Let's go, Mewtwo. Let's try and take on a wild Groudon and catch him. Go, Psychic. Don't one-bang him or you're off the team. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Off. Oh, Scissor's probably going to get one-banged. You're a dirty Scissor. Okay, let's go in for another wing attack now. See if we can just lower him down, pitch him down a little bit. No, he's going to one-bang me. Sick. Eevee, do you think you can... You have to die here because if you get XP, you can't even hit him. Sweet. Uh, no, I would have gone sand attack. Okay, doesn't matter. You don't get an attack in anyway. Rayquaza... To the hardy, I don't want to use anything because I think I might kill him. I'll probably use action power. Oh, no, no more of that. No more of that. Great ball. If we catch a crowd on, that would be insane. That would be insane if we caught this guy. There's one rock. Okay, he's not having it. All right, all right. Just don't kill me. That's another thing I'm scared of because he's really powerful. You gotta not underestimate that they can kill my Pokemon. But now that we have two legendaries on a team, that's probably gonna happen as much. But uh, this guy's definitely popping a lot, which scares me, because if he pops, then he, he doesn't really... I, I, I'll i throw everything I have at this guy if I need to confirm that Master Ball is where we're going to go with the Legendary. If it has to be a Master Ball, then it has to happen, then I'll just deal with it. But if not, then I'll uh, just sit with where I'm at and try to jag a Great Ball, because that's... And it doesn't make me feel good, because I remember when I tried to get that Articuno in Pixelmon Island with Ultra Balls, he wasn't having any of it. And it looks like I'm getting a repeat because this Groudon's having absolutely none of it. He's just not a part of that captured life. He's like, nah, 
I want to stay free. I have all my... Just seeing him on the way down made the episode. You see this red fat blob in the desert and you just want to catch him. You know what I mean? Like, Rayquaza, like... <sighs> primal Kai... Primal Groudon. He's not primal, but he looks sick. Imagine if it was shiny. Imagine if we got a shiny legendary. Would lose my crap out of 10. Just... I'd probably swear. i definitely swear. Like, that's 1 in 8,000 and then get the guy to spawn. Like, you know what I mean? And he's gold. He's gold. He doesn't mess about. But it looks like we are throwing, like, balls at nothing here. He's not catching. He's popping immediately. Pokeball's even worse. Let's see if he wants to be our friend. If he doesn't want to be our friend, I think we just have to let him go. Because he just doesn't want to be caught. So, it looks like it's Master Balls or Get the Fudge Out. It's just as simple as that. You cannot catch them physically. We killed him. We got a crit. That's great. He wasn't being caught. It's I, And it really makes me sad because that shouldn't be a thing. You should have a chance with Great Balls and Ultra Balls. Although, if I do remember from the games, it was really, really high. Like, I remember trying to catch Reggie Rock and Reggie Gag. Reg, not Reggie Gag. Yes. Re Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, and Reg Ice were the hardest fudges to catch. Same with Rayquaza. He did not mess about either. So, but the, the thing is, status effects do not affect capture rates, which is something you obviously take advantage of in, pick, in Pokemon. So, not going to complain. Uh, we got to see a ground for the first time. Trick does definitely work. Twice out of twice now it's worked. But I think it's just not worth our time unless we have a Master Ball. So, I think what I might do is it might open a Master Ball shop. Because if it's going to be that way, we might add... I'll probably add Master Balls to Preston's shop, but I'll make them like 25 gold coins. Tell me what you guys think. 25 or 20 gold coins? Because I don't want it to be just bosses, because we're going to be here for a while. Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, uh, Groudon, and Kyogre. That's five, yeah. I don't think there's any other legendaries. No, it's just that. How do we get Zoro? Have I caught a Zoro? I don't know where he catches Zoro. I haven't seen him. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I think we're going to wrap this episode up there. I do need to keep it sort of short, although I don't think it's been too short. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode where we did see a first look at... Oh, uh, my first look at a Groudon. If you guys did, it would be great to see your support with the like ratings below. And of course, comments. Let me know how much should we be charging for Master Balls at Preston Trades. But uh, yeah, guys, until next time, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time.